Welcome to the premiere episode of More Than Hair TV. My name is Melissa Vaz. And I'm Tanya Chaney, and we are glad you have clicked in to join us. We are here hanging out at Michael Grant's salon in Denver, where Tanya is the owner and master stylist. This show has been in works for several months, and we are geared up to share with you different hair stories, styling techniques for different types of hair textures, tips, product recommendation, and all sorts of useful information. More Than Hair TV will have new webisodes monthly, and we would love to hear from you on what hair topics you would like us to cover. For more on how you can connect with us, here's our show producer, Jason Vaz. More Than Hair TV is designed to be interactive with you, the viewer. When you visit the More Than Hair TV channel on YouTube, you can connect with us by uploading a video response to the clip titled my hair story. Simply upload your video from your computer, a video that you've pre-recorded. You can do that or you can directly upload a video from your webcam just like this. That's how we can connect with you to hear your story. You can also connect with us on Facebook by visiting the More Than Hair TV fan page. Now if email is more your style, you can reach us at mystory at morethanhairtv.com. We look forward to hearing from you and sharing your story with the More Than Hair TV audience. Thank you for watching More Than Hair TV. Thank you, Jason. Tanya is a native here from Colorado, went to Gateway High School, and I had the opportunity to be able to work with Tanya at her salon for my very first salon job. So that's, that's been a blessing for me. So Tanya, tell me how you started in the hair business. I started it a long time ago. My mother had um, challenges actually maintaining and taking care of my hair, so I took it upon myself at a very young age to just do it myself. And I was pretty good at it. So then in college, I became the go-to girl. And eventually, 10 to 12 years ago, I decided it was time. It was time to make the change. And what are you passionate about? I am passionate about this industry and all its potential. But one thing I do know for sure is that I'm here to change the way the world sees beauty. Mm -hmm. What do you see this uh, show accomplishing? Um, I have three things that I really would love for this show to accomplish. Um, I would love for it to enlighten the world, be informative to our audience, and as well as entertain. Well, Melissa, you too. You're from Denver, right? I am. There's like seven of us here left. Mm -hmm. Seven natives, I love that. Um, you're a graduate of George Washington High School. Yeah. Home with Chauncey Billups. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get started in hair? Wow, I got started in hair. Well, my mom was a cosmetologist, mm -hmm. so I grew up with hair and people and, in, and see my mom do hair. And I love hair and I love serving people. So do you have a niche in this industry of ours? I love curly hair. So um, actually you helped me to really find that in me. You know, you did ask me what was my niche and I said curly hair and you, you really supported me in saying go after that. And oh, so it is curly you. hair and I thank you. I, lo I love curly hair. Thank you. <laughs> so what do you hope that this show can accomplish? I hope that the show accomplishes um, and provides education for people. Mm -hmm. um, not only in hair but also really for people to uh, understand how they can be involved in their communities mm -hmm. and how they can serve communities and really bring out in them um, their passion because we we're doing our passion right. and and i hope that encourages and provides that for other people nice well enough about us we want to and more Than Hair TV is your show. You can interact with us through our Facebook fan page, YouTube, or send us an email to mystory@morethanhairtv.com. If you are needing help with your child's hair because of their texture or you have questions about your own hair, we would love to feature your story on the show. Yes, and if you're thinking about the big chop or going natural, we want to hear your story. Coming up on our child feature, you'll meet a very shy 11-year-old who is learning how to maintain a healthy head of hair. What was once known as the greatest generation has become the forgotten generation. Because people have forgotten them, that makes them feel God has forgotten them. Almost 85% of residents living in skilled care centers never have a visitor. 
this generation is going to double and triple within the next 10 or 15 years. That's why Crossroads Ministries needs you, volunteers in skilled care facilities. So our volunteers go in, they love on them, they read the scripture to them. Uh, we even have several people who are doing discipleship with them. I think that there's something beautiful about this for both parties, for those that are wanting to volunteer and for those that are being ministered to. Just one or two hours a week can change a life. Let God love someone through you. Partner with Crossroads today. If not you, who? Part of the vision of More Than Hair TV is to give solid information and visual tips to parents and caregivers on how to care for the hair of their children with challenging hair texture. Today we are featuring Marilyn, an 11-year-old who was referred to us from the Denver Children's Home. Because of her situation, we cannot show her face, but we will see her heart. Hi, Marilyn. I'm, I'm Miss Tanya today, okay? It's nice to meet you. We have Marilyn. She's uh, one of our youngest girls right now. She's 11. She gets very shy and quiet at times. So tell me some of the things you like to do with your hair. You like to wear it in a ponytail? You like to wear it straight sometimes, too? Um, she doesn't have a lot of knowledge about how to take care of her hair and I actually don't have enough knowledge of that myself. I've learned a bit here and there. Is it hard for you to comb through? So we're here today to learn some new skills so her hair can be the beautiful hair it's meant to be. Marilyn is your typical 11 year old, naturally curly, a silky curl. Uh, she's not combing through her hair very well so the ends are starting to lock. Do you go through and comb it yourself? Do you have a big comb at home? Does it hurt when you comb it? And it's not really cleansed well at the scalp, so I'm going to shampoo it probably a couple of times just to get it really clean and then add the moisture back into it because she's very dry. So when you wash it, do you guys go through and blow dry or just kind of wash and just pull it back up? She usually lets it wash and sit. She specifically asked for a relaxer because she said she didn't like her curls. And greasy. So I'm gonna talk her through that. You want it moisturized? Yeah. Uh -huh. braided. You want it braided? In the front. What you typically see with girls this age is they want to look like mainstream. And mainstream is straight hair, flowy hair. And the fact that she can wear her hair both ways. So I want her to understand that she's got the best of both worlds. And not to think that her hair isn't pretty the way it is. So chemically relaxing is something that I would definitely opt not to do, but to show her that we can straighten it and she can wear it straight and then when she wears it curly for a, a way to, for her to wear her curls like she likes them. Come on over, man. Well, Mary was adopted at a very young age, about three, and she has a a deep history of pre-verbal trauma when she was a child. So a lot of, she had a lot of acting out behaviors in the, in the home, getting aggressive and not being able to manage with herself. Um, so it came to us to help work on some of that trauma and practice more coping skills so she can manage and go back into the home. Because a lot of stuff when it happens at a pre-verbal age, they can't talk about it. They don't even know what happened to them. They just know how it feels and they, act everything out because I can't talk about it. 